Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome to our next brand new playthrough. Today we're going to play Cult of the Lamb. This is a really interesting looking new game. Just came out about 10 minutes ago for me. It's probably uh, just a couple of weeks or so for you folks at home. And Cult of the Lamb is, as far as I can tell, it's a combination of two main genres. It's a roguelite, so think Hades and stuff like that, you know, where you go on multiple runs and you get stronger each time and get further. And also a cult base builder, micromanagement colony sim kind of thing where your runs mean you get more gear to level your cult up and stuff like that it sounds really interesting uh, really like the visual style as well really interesting and unique and i've been really looking forward to this for a long time so quite excited to get started let's uh, hit play and give it a go new save praise the lamb conduit to great power promised liberator of the one who waits below Yet sacrificial beast, take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. It will sit upon my brow. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, why so sad? Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, <laughs> we can't talk. We're not friends. We'll be friends. You look sad as well. Maybe we can be friends. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I realize the error of my ways. A game by Massive Monster. So already, visually, very interesting. Game's kind of assuming a new enemy. It's kind of like 3D but 2D. It's got that kind of cell shaded kind of look to it. Hey gang, how are we all doing? I like the frog the most. <laughs> Kneel to be sacrificed. Before us stands the last of its kind. All of us we have hunted down and put to the blade. He sounds like Jabba the Hutt. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. And the old faith shall be preserved. This is the beast below, and apparently my little lamb must be sacrificed in order to prevent it ever being rescued. I like your hat. Come closer, fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is that you start a cult in my name. Yeah, no worries. I love, I love a good cult. I do love a good cult. <laughs> Must be sad. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, I'm into it already. I really am. <laughs> I've been in the mood for uh, just something gameplay focused, you know what I mean? And uh, this looks like it might just scratch that itch. Kind of, what I'm really trying to do is replicate the feeling I had with Hades, because I loved Hades so very, very deeply. Okay, there's a little map. So that's kind of a um, Slay the Spire kind of thing. Ratau. <laughs> Ratau's got the anime effect. It's where the eyes and the mouth are in like just such a bizarre position. I look very happy, though. Fear not, I am Ratau. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. Just going to trash your camp first, if you don't mind. Don't get the feeling of picking much up here. The game is beautiful, actually. Oh, I love a good chest. Okay, I got a coin. If 
like a single coin. There's my lamb. I've got a little crusaders. Oh, God. Inventory screens. Cult screens. Game, you're talking my language. Kill it. I can't kill it. I killed it. It is, however, <laughs> can be one of those games that's really hard to make thumbnails for, you know? Okay, dead end. Oh no! I got hit! I was really hoping to avoid that for as long as possible. Do I have health anywhere? Maybe I can't die at this point in time. I seem to have a health bar. Alright, alright, calm down. Nice. Not an ominous looking room at all. What are you talking about? Nothing to see here. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a human. Or like a pet. Oh, hello. We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead, another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Oh, mighty bishops of the old face, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Oh, look, she's so spooked. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Oh yeah, rat out, just, just hop out there, no worries, buddy. Gonna be okay buddy it's gonna be how would you like to join a cult strip off all your hair and we'll meet on thursdays oh damn follower awaits indoctrination okay cool final little segment hey Rato. we have reached safety you have done well the red crown will allow you to use those markers on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. Oh, look at his crown. He's made one out of paper. <laughs> then you'll be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. How do you, how you teach me how to do that instead? That seems like a much better idea. Okay. I really, really like the art style for this game. Please select the difficulty. Don't worry, you can change it anytime. So, recommended for casual players looking for fun. Wait, well, it's never going to be that. Recommended for moderate players looking for a well rounded experience. Recommended for experienced players looking for a challenge. Recommended for players with a death wish. I'm probably going to play a medium, but it says I can change it anytime. So, if we find it too easy, we can we can ramp it up. Hey, buddy. This hallowed ground, which was once mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. <laughs> I thought you were pink. I just want a little po oh, I can't go over there yet. Okay, so this is my, my cult world, I suppose. Hello. Jamajul. Please, spare me. Oh. Oh. So, yeah, as part of the pre-ordering of the game... Oh my god, there's tons. <laughs> I kind of feel weird changing him, though. I feel like Jamajul should stay what Jamajul... Oh my god, it's a... <laughs> I feel like Jamajul should stay what Jamajul was, you know? I can collect any of this. But the Cthulhu one, I got that for pre-ordering. I think it's because I pre-ordered the game I got all these, basically. I feel like he should just stay as he is, though, for now. If I if I got like another rabbit, then I'd mix it up. You know what I mean? Choose color. Then again, it's my cult, right? So I should kind of like bend people in my. What's the difference? Oh, it's the ears. I like that one though. Yeah, cult markings. Sure. Okay, so the traits against sacrifice minus five faith when a follower is sacrificed. Gain ten faith when falling ill. Because he loves feces. <laughs> That's a strange one to go for, Jabba. 
and 15% easier to level up. That's cool. All right. Ah. There he goes, chopping away. Good lad. <laughs> By your hand, our cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone, they must eat. Gather the necessary resources, build a cooking fire, it allows you to prepare meals for your followers. Okay, so can I join in with this? Yeah? So it's got like a bit of a survival crafty kind of thing going on as well, which is cool. Any more stone. Good damage, all go. <laughs> Build a cooking fire. It's over here. Tons of stuff. Faith, decorations, 27 of those. And we've got to collect them as well, which I quite like. Flower vase. i got to get a temple for this stuff. Okay, yeah, pretty excited about this. <clears throat> Cook raw items and turn them into meals that followers can eat. Now oh, I have to choose where things go. I feel like the cooking fire should be fairly central, right? It's like the hub that people... Then again, I'm not going to want, like, temples and stuff. I don't know. I don't, I don't really... <laughs> I don't really have a clue. Put that for now. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to collect. Followers need to eat, it's up to you to provide meals for them. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When it gets too low, followers begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found while crusading. Okay, so these are berries here, right? <laughs> he just looks so happy. <laughs> it's adorable. How would I then plant berry bushes? Is it in build? Probably not, right? Maybe I can't do it yet. Oh, I need a farm. Yeah, I need a farm plot. Maybe I have one somewhere? Let's have a little poke around anyway. What's going on with this? Oh, you always look mystical, don't you? Hey. Alright Jim, what's your name again buddy? Jammer Joel. Jammer Joel, I'm going to make you a delicious meal of something. What, basic berry bowl. 15% <laughs> chance of the follower pooping instantly. Well, I mean, that just sounds like a benefit to me. Now we must build a shrine. First we'll need more followers and more gold, both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the Old Faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the Old Faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It's your task to trap them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go. They shall find gold and recruits who are not willing to convert them by force. Okay. So we've got four bosses to kill, I suppose, and uh, let's head out into the world and get started. Get some followers, get some gold. Let's give it a go. Oh, what's going Oh, right, so they're all split up. Interesting. I guess I've only got this one. Maybe I have to do them in an order. I don't know. There's a wet one, there's a grassy one, there's a deserty sort of one, and there's a spooky one, which I assume is last. And then there's a big boy at the end. <laughs> Darkwood. Oh, you need a certain number of followers. So one follower to get into Darkwood. How many for this one? Nine. Can I sprint? No. For Anchor Deep, nine. Seven for a Nura, so that's second. Twelve is my guess. Oh, look at that. Silk Cradle, twelve. All right, cool. Jesus Christ. Quite excited to open that final door and have all 12 followers gathered around doing that. Oh, bye, buddy. In we go. 
It really is a conglomerate of so many different genres. All right, I've got health now. Slightly scary. <laughs> Darkwood, what is this? Crusader's Blade 1. What a little baller I am. <laughs> okay, what's this? Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy. Those who do not follow the ways of the Old Faith will be destroyed. Let's see, try Bucko. Look at me. Roll. It squishes my head in a pleasurable way. Let's get some gold, get some followers. I think they do like a charge. What's going on? <laughs> oh god. Is that Leshy? How can this be? You were put to the blade, lamb, as all your kind were, and yet you stand here before me, unrepentant. The crown has power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Him. Hit him. <laughs> okay, so I can go left, I can go right. Let's go left. Oh, I've got health there. Oh, enjoy. right, okay. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep an eye on my health a little more than I have been doing. Thank you. Do I have a map? Oh, I do. Cool. I do want to make sure I, I go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're, we're you know we're at the start of the game. We may as well explore everything, right? Ah, see, I could have missed out on whatever the hell this is. Hello, clown neck. You look amazing. Praise the lamb, conduit to great power. Promise the liberator of the one who waits below. It's like a tarot card reader. Show the cards showed me once many lifetimes ago, or is that yet to be? I've always drawn your cards, lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another. Each time we meet, when drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. <laughs> the cards they shall decide. Oh. So get that. Why is that a penis? Oh, it's a foot. <laughs> it looks like a free testicled penis. Uh, I can gain one health or better chests. I get better chests. Your cards have been drawn, the path lays ahead. Thanks, Clown Neck. See you later, buddy. I go for the chests because you figure that's going to build up more over time and maybe I'd even get things like hearts or whatever, you know, from it, right? Plus, I'm going to back myself to not die, even though I've just started playing the game. <laughs> I mean, also, I'm going today. See, look at that, look at this beast! Although, this room is slightly scary. <laughs> oh, right, I get to choose. Okay, so that's got rock, that's got food, and that's got healing. Well, it's right before the boss, so I feel I should take the healing. Maybe? I don't need the food yet, surely. I've only got one foot. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal up. Hey. This is weird. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? My love took my heart to the sea, the sea, she took my heart to the sea. This is where my heart will be, will be in a bed at the bottom of the sea. Welcome, Crusader. Take a moment to join me in my search. I look for the heart that once beat in my chest. That is until it was taken by her. I've been sitting here for so many years, even her face has faded from my mind. Yet I keep searching, always searching. I have a dozen hearts, you see, but none of them are mine. They are yours if you wish to have them, Crusader. They are worthless to me. I care only for the heart that was once mine, so that I might look upon her face one last time. Look at the little hearts! It's super weird, I love it. And then this big one he's pumping in the background, is he making them to try to sort of recreate his own? As he's fishing for them and they're just dancing, I don't know what's going on but I love it. Alright, I think that was the right call. I only healed half a heart though. In retrospect, I kind of regret that actually. Oh well.
The red things are very scary looking, but I don't know what they do. I think it's maybe just saying you can't leave, yeah. Come here, you. Hmm. I haven't found any followers yet. Hey! Tell me, Lamb, do you believe Destiny immutable? Oh my god. So this is how it's a roguelite in part, you know. I, uh... Oh, poison damage. The arachnid. Oh, so, I mean, right now, I don't know. I have to figure things out, you know, which is better out of those two. There's no way for me to know. I would suggest this one because 1.2 times weapons damage when you have no weapon damage is really low. So I'm going to pick up the arachnid. You cannot argue with the draw. One might as well argue with the ocean. Oh, I get to see them all. Yes, sir. There's tons. 36. Probably I've unlocked 15 of them. I guess I have to unlock others in another way. Mm. Cheers, buddy. So yeah, you, you go, you pick different upgrades. Maybe we'll get different weapons. We'll get upgrades from the cult itself. Yada, yada, yada. All right, how does this work? Does it tick over time? Yo, that's... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have no regrets on that. That was definitely the right call. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> See the cause havoc. Hello? You a follower? Oh god. Bless you please. You have come far enough, little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same with yours? I'm Adusius. I give myself to the cause, almighty oh leader. By the blood of the Great Ones, destroy the Red Crown. Leshy is terrifying. What is he? <laughs> I can't figure it out. It's a weird bobblehead wrapped in bloody bandages. It's all very strange. What are you doing? Oh, that's what you're doing. There we go. Now the combat's picked up a bit. Smashed it. Oh, I, I guess I feel so bad when they're so scared. It's okay, Amducius. Please spare me. I will grant you free wishes. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. I don't know. I just smashed you, buddy. Are you worth it? See you later. Oh, do I have to choose? Choose follower form, choose berries, berry bush. Oh, no, I wish I clicked this one now, because I don't know what that does anymore. I thought that was just the converting thing, but maybe it's something else. I'll, I'll check that next time. I figured there's no point in getting the seeds while I don't have any farm plots, right? Big break. Okay, so I have to do four runs to get to the boss. I guess. Nice. No damage from boss bonus. Oh, cool. 20% on new items. So I got 11 more gold. I got three more berries. I got two more grass things. That's cool. Oh no, now I'm going to want to do that every time though. <laughs> this doesn't seem that likely, you know? I'm relieved to see you made it safely and you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Oh, he does have two eyes. One shot. I didn't realise. One's like got a scar across it. I just thought it was some weird anime face. <laughs> Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. What is going on in your head? Convert me into a cult tower. Follow your teachings faithfully. Ah. ah. Amadusius. I like the idea that you can customize it. I think that's cool. But I also don't want to. You know what I mean? Because they've got their own little personality stuff. The only thing... 
Oh, no, he doesn't have a variant version. Oh, that's sad. Lose 5 faith whenever a follower dies. Work and devotion generation speed reduced by 10. Lose 10 faith when failing guilt. You're a bit pointless, aren't you, Ami? Followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generates devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Can I build a shrine now? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's amazing looking. It's, a, it's such a weird game because it's quite wholesome in a weird way. You know, it's got a little bit of that cutesy kind of aesthetic, but then it's... Sacrifice and skulls and pain. <laughs> Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here is a new follower. Assign them to the worship at the shrine. Then collect the devotion your followers generate to unlock divine inspiration. Oh, I got a picky. Hello, picky. What's your name? Artie. Ah, can I give a variant? If, if they ever let me do the variant, where it gives them like cultist markings, I'm going to do that. You got uh, that one again. 15% harder to level up, but generates devotion 15% faster. Perfect. I assume that's on purpose by the game. Give him his lovely cult clothes. Okay. The more followers worshiping at the shrine, the faster they'll fill up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshiping until it's emptied. Once you have collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. Get to work, Artie. Praise me. Praise me. <laughs> Let's have a look at these upgrades there. So temple, cult two. Oh my god, it's like a tech tree. You see what I mean? This game has just like a billion different things all shoved together. I really appreciate it. Body pit. I want a body pit. I just saw the farm plot there. I need the temple. So the temple is obviously the first one I need. I need a divine inspiration. Cool. Cool. <clears throat> Establish a temple to preach sermons and perform rituals. Okay, so wait, how do I get divine inspirations? Is it every single is every single one worth a divine? That seems unlikely to me. Like, what do I need? Yeah, how do I get more divine inspirations? Is what I'm curious about. Anyways, I, I can't build a temple yet. We need more. Where are they putting these materials that they're gathering? What are you up to? Gather for me, child. What's your name again? Forgotten. Jammer Jewel. I require logs. Jammer Jewel. I do get them all, Mac. Okay. So what do I need for a temple? I need two pieces of wood and five... So where's the other guy? That what's he up to? Because <laughs> oh, they are—they're just lying around, aren't they? Maybe I can hire someone later on to like pick them up or something. All right, let's get the stuff we need. Not that the big tree. Too much wood for one sheep to handle. I'll say so. Okay, that's actually all I need. Onto the stones. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I know you're doing your best, but it's very slow. Should be the last one I need, so I'm just waiting. Thanks. He's a good egg, really. What's your name again? I need to remember their names. I'm Lucius. Oh! Oh, it all goes in the chest. Right, okay. That's cool. i got plenty now. I feel the temple should go in the middle. Oh, I can't. oh game, don't take the mech. <laughs> That's just mean. I kind of want to be efficient in my placement, you know? It's going to go there. I'm hoping I can move buildings later on. Going to give me a hand? Yeah, there we go. Get the whole crew going. It's like civilization. The temple is the center of your cult. From there, you will preach sermons to grow stronger and perform rituals to mold the fragile minds of your followers. 
You are responsible for maintaining the faith of your cult. If it falls too low, your followers will send against you and eventually leave. Your followers are ready to hear your word. Show them that you are their great leader. Preach a sermon from within your temple. Oh, right. It's when I get 13, I get divine inspiration. I see that now. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is kind of spooky. Sermon. Perform a sermon drawing energy from your followers to bolster the power of the Red Crown. Sure. Hey, gang. How are you all feeling today? Feeling culty. Through the faith of your followers, you grow stronger. Performing sermons will draw power from them, allow you to unlock new abilities, weapons, and curses. Followers with a higher loyalty level generate more devotion. Therefore, the more followers you have and the more loyal they are, the quicker you'll gain new abilities. Okay, so I can get half a heart. <laughs> okay, so do I just do that every time I come back or? You are amazing to behold, a natural leader. I see why you were chosen. If you are to guide your culture, you'll need to declare doctrine so that they may obey you. Return to the lands and seek out commandment stone fragments. With these, you'll be able to declare new doctrines. Just like Jesus did. Okay, so you see, I've got faith and I've got food. And that boosted my faith, doing that little thing just there. Okay, it's, it's, there's a lot going on. There's quite a few mechanics rolling around, but we'll, we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up. Back in we go. Here, godly blood was spilled. He and death no longer wish to wait. Back into the dark wood. Ooh, hello. So I wonder if this is just random each time. Oh, baby. Talk my language. <laughs> I got distracted by him being different. I don't like new things, they're scary. What's the squirrel doing? Is that on my side? I feel like it's on my side. Get him, squirrel. Good job, buddy. Okay, so uh, we've got a daytime run top right, so I can give a sermon every day. I've got to keep that in mind, I think, anyway. Hello, pal! What are we vibing with? Reveal the map. 10% chance to deal a critical hit. I don't see the point in revealing the map, because I'm gonna do it anyway, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna go everywhere, so what's the point? Uh <laughs> a little spooky. I'm glad I found you. I bring good news, surrounded by all these corpses. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. God my eyes are bleeding! <laughs> Oh! Enemies to slay will now drop fervor. Collect this to replenish your curses. Fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non believers and works like ammunition for your curses. Fervor will drop when you slay an enemy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was very stupid. I didn't get enough to do one. All right, so it seems you can't do that very often. I've got enough for one bolt. Oh, that's what, and that's what all the red stuff is. I thought that was health in the past, but it's it's fervor in the chests. Oh, you're angry. <laughs> I was like, are you a friend or? Oh, you can't get health. Nice. This is quite hard to tell. <laughs> Whose side are you on, bucko? Oh, I've been everywhere. Okay, so what is that? There's a house? There's also some... Oh, there's a follower there, though. Let's go for a follower.
The worm, it is hungry, it feeds, it partakes of our flesh, but that is the price for safety, for that we gladly give it all we have. Ah, <laughs> leave me alone! What are you? Like a, a hedgehog, I think? That's like a solid appreciate that. Hello, hedgehog friend. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Nothing to see here. Oh. Steel devotion. I guess this is um, a shrine to the bishop. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> what's going on? No, no, <laughs> not on my watch, bucko. I was hoping I got stone every time. Hey, Leshy. So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what an unworthy bearer it has. I'm not a bear, I'm a sheep. Slicing and dicing, baby. Slicing and dicing. Bishop Seal Faith, kill Leshy in Darkwood. I can't do that yet, obviously. Oh. Oh, oh Harrow's adorable. Eons ago, eons are gone, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this pantheon, alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, moulded this world to meet them and theirs. It's where a land of many gods once, hundreds now. So I've made my first commandment, just like Jesus. You have found enough fragments to form a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare new doctrines for your people to follow. Use the altar in your temple to declare a new doctrine whenever you form a new commandment stone. Sure. No worries. So many mechanics in this game. <laughs> Hello! What have you got for me today? Hmm. The poison was good. My concern about the chest, I suppose. No, I'm going to get the chest. It's just because I'm quite far in already. I'm assuming these levels get bigger later on. Like, they go on further. But I figured, because I'm already in the like the third segment or whatever, I'm going to get less chests, if you know what I mean. It's one of those ones that the earlier you get it, obviously, the better it is. More chance for a good chest. I've got to remember, <laughs> they're enemies. <laughs> Surprisingly weak enemies. I think they're just kind of preparing you for bullet hell, you know? Okay, the flock is ready for another sermon. You see, it just went to day two. Flaming shot two. Alright, recycle. Nice. Alright, cool. That'll make sense to me. Weirdly enough. <laughs> Who is the boss this time? Oh, I thought it was boss time. Where are my good chests? I'm just getting three gold every time. <laughs> I was hoping for more than that. I don't know how that works. It said it explo- oh no. It took damage. It said it explodes at the right point, but I don't know how that works. Quite yet. <clears throat> so, 
Some terrible play there. Terrible stuff. Go for that heart. That was, that was, that was another slightly ropey situation. Hello, pal. I don't need health. Val Ephar. Oh, Valfar's uh, a bit of a step up, isn't he? <laughs> Damn it, I rolled into it. I was so. Ah, it's the only hit I took as well, I think. Oh man. It was actually the only hit I took. It's right at the bloody end. I got two followers in this run. That's cool. I can get lumber, a follower. F okay, so I'm curious about this. What does this mean? Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. I can now get a donkey. <laughs> Got my goddamn priorities in order, to say the least. <laughs> Alright, two down, two to go. I'm pretty into it. I'm a little sad I didn't get that bonus, though. A little sad. Ooh, be pleased with me, master. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. I suspect I'm gonna have to kill you at the end, aren't I, buddy? <laughs> it's just the way the cards... Yo, know, it's a cult. You can't <laughs> complain too much. Right, let's see what's going on here. There's all my stuff. Followers were inspired by my successful crusade. Look at this. So we can unlock a farm plot, which I'm gonna do next. Because we're quite close to the next one anyway, what's this? A farming bundle. Farming stations allow followers to water crops. And I can just put all my... Okay, so so basically they'll do the farming for me. Sleeping bags. Body pit. To avoid rotting corpses, okay. <laughs> oh, very close though. What's going on over here? Oh, right, farm plot. Okay. Um, well, where's the cooking? It should be near the cooking. So if I do that... My, cook is, my, my guys do need a little bit of food. Talk to him. I'm trying to build a bloody farm plot. Okay, but how do I get water? Oh, it's water. Oh, okay. All right, that's cool. I don't have fertilizer though. If anyone could defecate, that would be lovely. Someone, defecate, pretty please. <laughs> There's always time for defecation. Come on, kids. All right, before we do anything else, actually, we should uh, get our new followers. <clears throat> Fergie, Fergie, Fegri, Fegri. Ah, so yeah, we got a new form. Got that one. It's pretty cool, actually. And a donkey. <laughs> uh, can I give him? Yeah, there we go. And yeah, loves, loves, loves feces. Good lad. Oh. I'm gonna put you on worship as well. And there's my next lad. Ah, now you, my lad, or what's your name? Valafar. You've already got your stuff going on. You're a bit of a pain though, aren't you? Uh, he doesn't generate his worship very quickly, so I'm gonna put him on something else. 
Ah, they look so pleased. I'm gonna put you on... Wood. Okay. I'm gonna make some food for my cult. I don't really know how this works. Oh, I deleted that. That was stupid. I'm a little confused. Oh, right, I just have to click the cook button, weirdly enough. You go, gang, eat up. That should fix their food issues. Maybe they'll like me a bit more as well. Eat up, children. Get big and strong for daddy. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's go give a sermon. And lay out our commandments. Form a sermon drawing energy. Yeah, we'll do that first. My flock has arrived. So I got four devotion. Bane weapons. What does that mean? Three new curses appear on your crusades. Don't know what that means. Bane weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. They will appear on your crusades. Let's go for that one. That sounds cool. Oh! So we need 11 devotion for them. So, okay. So I think that devotion is separate. So the sermon devotion, which gets me certain upgrades, and then there's the main devotion, which I use for other things. So what's this crown? Use a commandment stone to declare a new doctrine for your cult. Select from a category and make a choice that will unlock a new ritual trait or follower interaction. Bonfire Ritual. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. Oh, and it costs... Wait, <laughs> it costs bones. <laughs> so I can convert bones and logs into faith. Let's have a little look. So this is some heart thing. I think there's four, there's four of those. I'm assuming those are from the bosses. Although there's four of these as well. I can get new fleeces. That's cool. So red gem things get me new clothes. And these get me new abilities. Yeah. All right, gang. Good job today, everyone. Preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing the needs of your followers will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Oh, okay. I was a little worried they had to come for my followers. <laughs> Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Okay. Perform rituals in the temple. These usually raise faith or help you solve problems in the cult. Rituals performed using the bones of your fallen enemy. After slaying a non-believer, desecrate their bodies, gather their bones, and use them to perform dark rituals. All right. I wanted to kind of change someone because two of them look quite similar. Two of my gang, they're, they're both very... Oh, maybe it's the lighting because they don't actually look that similar at all. I think we're good for now. Why is no one praising me? Get to work, piggy! That should be enough, right? Yeah! Okay, so we can get the farming bundle. Or we can get sleeping bags. I'm gonna get sleeping bags. I assume my followers will like me more if they've got somewhere to sleep, you know? I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but it's what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, and I can sign. There you go. Oh. Oh no, now I want to build one for all of them. <laughs> How many do I have? I've only got four. How do I only have four? Of course I only have four. There you go. You've, I, I completely did not mean to <laughs> for that to be perfect, but it just it happens to have been perfect.
There you go, guys. You've all got a nice little sleeping bag now. Feces! On sanitary conditions that your cult will cause followers to become sick. If a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest or they could die. Resting them allows to recover slowly. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will... Okay. Well, there shouldn't be any dead bodies. I'm going to keep an eye out for some feces. Let's have a little wander around, just in case. I don't see any feces. Not, not enough beds for all your followers. I thought there was, though. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I need five. God damn it. I, th I thought I had five, you know, but there was only four on my list, I swear. I'll build this. I lost some faith there. Understandably, you know. Maybe I can't count. Who doesn't have one? It's Valifar, right? There you go, buddy. There he is. Right, please, please love me again. Yeah, I got all my faith back. Oh, they love me. Why is my place unsanitary? You can see it's got a little bit... <laughs> you sleep well, buddy. You sleep well. I feel there's some feces somewhere. I don't know where. Hmm. Aha! Knew it! So, do I want to fertilize these plots? Do I have to do that in order for them to grow in the first place? Maybe I do. Um, okay. Okay, save. Why did I connect with Twitch? Huh. I'm going to Google that because I'm very curious about that. Um, right, okay. So that is Cult of the Lamb. It is... It's basically exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, it, the cult building, base building, is definitely more involved than I thought it was. I didn't expect quite so much going on there. Um, the combat is... Probably less involved than Hades, but that makes a lot of sense. I mean, look at the size of the levels. They're much, much smaller. Um, it's kind of got a bit of Slay the Spire in there as well. I love the visual style. I'm very excited about my cult. I'm pretty into it, yeah. So, pretty excited to play more of this. Hopefully you are excited to see some more of it. And I will see you lovely folks in that next video, where we're going to go get some bones and uh, do our very first ritual, where we dance around the fire, presumably, you know, naked. Uh, thanks for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.